Hi there, it's Alina Wilson from Eximate Mastery, and today I'd like to talk about how to add items in 3D in Sketch. This is a question someone had asked a while back, so I want to make sure to cover it. We're also going to be looking at how to add an item that isn't typical for the area. You'll see what I mean when we go in here. We're going to add some rubber roofing to a commercial style roof, and then we're going to wrap it up the parapet walls. And it says this is not a typical item. So you'll see what happens here when we're in Sketch, adding items in 3D. So let's go take a look. So here I am, I'm in the estimate, I'm already in the sketch tab and I have a flat roof with a parapet wall wrapped around it. We can look at that in 3D. I've got my scuppers here for drainage as you can see. And if you want to know how to sketch this, you can go search on my YouTube channel as I have demonstrated something similar over there on the channel. You should be able to find it under commercial roofs or uh, flat roof, I believe is what I call the video. So let's take a look at how to add things here in Sketch in 3D. So first of all, I want to pull up all of my windows because I don't have my items list uh, or my search screen is missing. So Control Shift R on my keyboard will pull up all of the windows all at once so I can see my item list down below and I've got my search uh, or my my item list here that I can find. So we're going to look for uh, rubber type roofing here for this commercial style roof. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to left click once to place that on the roof bed. And you'll want to hover near the flat roof. So there's a parapet wall because that's the room name that's hosting the wall area around. So there is technically walls and a floor here on the parapet wall. So you want to hover near the flat roof, which is where I filled in the um, floor, if you will, of the room. Um, so you kind of have to think outside of the box when you're doing this. But you can hover near that flat roof and left click once to place and it will let you. If you hover near the parapet wall, it thinks you're wanting to put the um, material on the floor, quote unquote, of the, the room, which is, it'll say this is not a typical area. So if you want to avoid that, you just hover near the flat roof and it allowed it to add it. And you can see that down here below on my item list. Now, we want to go ahead and hit 3 on my keyboard, and in 3D here, we're going to try to add some of that same roofing to the walls here, parapet walls, if you will. And if you left click once, it usually says um, this is not a typical area. This time when I did it, it didn't even allow me to add it. So it gets a little bit finicky here. Um, right here, if we left click, hold and drag, it will allow us to add it to that area, which is fine, um, but it's a little bit, like I said, finicky if you're trying to get it added to the whole wall. So as you can see, I pulled it out over part of the wall, but the rest of the wall needs to be covered. So what I would suggest is going into what's called the elevation view. It's the number two on your keyboard and hovering next to that wall, and then you can take a look at that area and see that it needs to be covered. Now, common sense, you'd think you'd be allowed to expand this area and cover this parapet wall with the, the roof coating, but it just doesn't like it. It acts real funny. So what I suggest doing is not adding it in 3D, adding it in this um, elevation view, because what we can do here is left click, hold, and drag it out over most of the area like that, try to get as far as we can. So that's what I would recommend if you're gonna be adding it to the areas of the wall, is go ahead and use that elevation view tool. Here we've got our scuppers there, you can see. And what we would do on this instance is I'd go ahead and left click, hold and drag that out and get that set there. And then I'd use my square break tool to go ahead and allow for the scuppers. So this is kind of finicky. It's not uh, the best solution, I would say. It might be easier for you just to hand calculate the measurements rather than doing this in Sketch. But if you find that um, there is an advantage, you know, to showing the carrier for some reason that uh, you have it added in Sketch, well, this is how you do it. It's just kind of time consuming and I'm not a fan of things that are, are time consuming. But uh, you can see there, that's how you would add it. So at the end of the day, I think the best solution is probably to hand calculate the, uh, the parapet walls just for time's sake. It's also a little frustrating because you can't go back and see 
where it has been added sometimes it just forgets it is there or I'm not sure just ignores the fact that you placed it um, you can see it's still here because there's an a1 but uh, it's just it just acts strange so I would probably hand calculate like I said but feel free to try this uh, mess around with it and see what you can figure out if you have any pointers that I'm not covering something that I don't know about adding that um, material to the walls I'd love to hear it in the comments below if you like this topic and want to see more like this, please like this video and also subscribe. I update this channel every week with new videos about Xactimate and supplementing. So be sure to subscribe. My name is Alina Wilson from Xactimate Mastery. Go visit our website at xmatemastery.com for more information about the Xactimate training for contractors that I offer. Hope everybody stays safe out there. We have a couple hurricanes we're cleaning up after and I know you guys are working hard, so stay safe and I'll see